This variance at increased frequency of automotive accidents caused by distracted driving is an issue that legislators are not only aware of, but are working to fight against. In fact, in our state, the state of Florida, lawmakers have made direct efforts to minimize the frequency of said accidents. Regardless of the amount of laws passed, an attempt to counteract drivers from using his or her cellular device behind the wheel, will legislators' actions have an impact on, the citizen, on citizens' lives? Generally, with consideration given the extent of effort dedicated to the cause as of now, not really. However, it is worth noting that the lawmakers are not entirely at fault. Citizens must make an effort as well. The amount of individuals killed and injured will not decrease unless the source of the issue is altered. The only thing that lawmakers can truly do is operate as a persuasive force. As previously mentioned, Florida's legislatures have made efforts to work against destructive driving, the most notable of which stands to be the ban on texting while driving law. The law states that a person may not operate a motor vehicle while texting, emailing, or instant messaging. However, the law also dictates the previously mentioned acts as only secondary offenses, meaning that a law enforcement officer is not able to pull over an individual for engaging in such activities. This is where the criticism comes in. Citizens believe that this law is quote-unquote worthless. They argue that the law does not ensure the safety of drivers and should be altered in order to bump up the penalty of texting while driving. However, those that feel this way are preaching to the wrong choir, or better yet, the less beneficial choir. Though it may seem optimal to look to lawmakers for help, for help in solving the issues as of, of distracted driving, it is more so imperative to reach out in hopes of achieving progress or resolution to those that are the most likely to partake in it. Nearly 10% of drivers under the age of 20 that were in fatal automotive accidents were reported as distracted while driving during the crash. Whether the issue is with drivers calling, texting, or instant messaging, this is the age group that individuals concerned for the lives of drivers should be reaching out to, and the best thing is that they are. The Florida Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles has posted a large amount of information on their website in order to promote safe driving as well as prompt others to spread the word. On the DHSMV's website, one can also locate statistics regarding the distracted, the, regarding distracted driving in order to observe how large the issue actually is, ways to eliminate the danger of using mobile devices behind the wheel, as well as methods in which individuals can prevent others from engaging in such activities. Regardless of where you believe, or regardless of whether you believe that the source of the issue of distracted driving originates, it is undeniable that it is still an issue. While our state legislatures have made efforts to alleviate the circumstances, their efforts, judging by the citizens' reception, did not seem to be too effective. When it all boils down to it, you can only control how you drive, and in order to work towards and promote a society filled with safe roads, we must all take on the responsibility of advocating against distracted drivers.